Hey guys, war. Yes, we are at war. Hearts of Iron 3 Tactics Thursday. Sorry it's a little late, guys. Had a bit of problems with YouTubes. Fun and games. So, quick recap as to where we are. We are at war with the Japanese. Now, what they did is they attacked those swines. And, oh, crikey. No, that's not theirs. Okay, let's put that into political map mode. I want to make sure that they haven't captured anything they're not supposed to. So, as you can see, they're in the process of attacking Guam quite significantly. Now, as you can see, my one division against their one unit, yeah, it's not going well. So, there's not really much I can do about that. Uh, but, I have these guys here, and as you can see, they are being attacked five ships by 15 ships, which is not good. So, these guys are going to have to hightail it out of there. So, the question is, can they do that? So, they're going to try and basically sail out of that battle and see what happens. So, dramatic music in the background. Sounds like music from the shadow, actually. Um, anyway, uh, as you can see, this is where we're moving to. We're trying to aid Singapore. Now, um, as you can see, the Japanese here are attacking Singapore quite significantly um, and I'm trying to use them to sort of protect that area and what I'm also doing is building up forces let's see where are they have we got any there there we go so it's just the the air group these boys here and there so there's the fighter wing so we're going to send them there, but they can't really do anything at the moment. So let's see what we've got here. Now here is uh, the Lexington, loads of great big huge uh, battleship, battleship fleet number four. Now the trouble is I need the transports. That's the only ones that are there at the moment. Now there should be a transport fleet around here somewhere. There we go. So these guys are in the process of transporting loads of troops to this location so I can pick up this connection of tanks. Now, obviously I won't be able to use the tanks to push into the jungle. That's the only drawback. I kind of use them to hold the urban area maybe. Uh, to try and stop us losing the peninsula and the coastal fort. So I use them as a bridgehead and then punch my way out, so to speak. So it's just a matter of what they decide to do. So let's see whose collection's in there. Okay, so that's the situation in the Philippines and that area at the moment. So what we're trying to do is push them back from Singapore up towards, uh, you know, take these places out, maybe make a drop in there. I don't know, we'll have to see. Uh, who are these fine fellows? I think uh, they're French. So, And we've got a very large battleship. Now, what we need to do is these are lots of armies and lots of transport. What we need is we need some flotillas now. We're going to need four carriers, I reckon. Okay, so four carriers. Start production. I want four battleships. Yep, start production on that as well. And I also want some heavy cruisers for those. And I want light cruisers yeah for those and I also want destroyers I want 10 destroyers <clears throat> so as you can see 1942 is when I get those we we'll just have to wait so put the production up to its max maximize production prioritize production um, and then what I can do is basically bring in that massive fleet under the control of a uh, serious naval commander. Now, let's see what's going on over here. Now, if I'm right in thinking, yes, now there's 10 ships there. How many can Nimitz take? He can take 12. Now, if I... 18 there we go bingo so uh, what I might actually do is 
upgrade him again. There you go, he can then basically take 30 ships. So, what have we got here? We've got the battleship fleet. Now, what we'll do is... Transport fleet, cruiser fleet, there's four there. And this is the cruiser fleet, cruiser fleet six. There's five, cruiser fleet, cruiser fleet six. Okay. So we'll send cruiser fleet six down there as well. Get them to rebase. And we will send Yeah, we'll have to leave that. Is that a destroyer fleet in there? No, it's cruisers. Okay, I wonder. What we might do actually is we could maybe send some from the Philippines. Let's see what we've got up here. So there's Battleship Fleet 4. So I could bring him down, form him up with the battleships, and use them to punch into here. Let's see. Okay. So there's the transport fleet. What are they doing there? What are these fellas doing here? And these guys are the submarine division. So there we go. Okay, so. Hmm. Battleship fleet into submarine. Okay, right. So we got a plan, sort of. So we've got these guys here. We're gonna have five more ships turn up, I think. And then let's see. Yeah, we'll send that cruiser fleet down there as well. Them to rebase and then use that as a staging post, set up a massive, great big, huge fleet and go to the aid of Guam and then use Guam as a stepping off point to move down towards uh, the Philippines and then possibly make a push straight up towards Japan, sort of areas of Vietnam, places like that. So, let's unpause that for a second. So, units are in poor supply as always. Inefficient research, yes, that's expected. So, production we know about now. Let's pause it a second, because what I'm looking at here is, if I'm kind of missing any stuff here, see that. See look, mountain infantry. Do I have jungle infantry? See, night fighting equipment. See, I'm looking okay with the infantry and the small arms there. This stuff is looking pretty low. See, but this is cavalry, and I don't think I want horses. Cavalry, or light cavalry, was always armour later on. So, see, these ones need to be up to... Yeah, see, I can't get the heavy tank brigade yet. And I don't want the supers yet. So, escorts, how are they doing? They're at seven. Yeah, or... See, or what I'm doing is I'm checking the dates to see if there's any um, stuff that's lagging behind my research-wise. So fighters, see they're 39, 41, 40, small navigation radar, I want that. Right, uh, small air search radars, that needs to be put to one. Um, industry, so 1938, see 1945, 1942, 1940, mechanical commuting machine, we want research of that, put that up high. That will basically improve general research levels. Secrets. Now, what can I do in the 40s? Nothing. Not until 42, and it's still 41. So that could... Oh, actually, no. Rocket, en rocket engine industry. Ah. So there we go. Let's start research. Any province owned has a rocket... Have rocket test site. Okay. So we need to basically build a rocket test site. Loving this music. This music is epic. Epic! Jet machine, let's see, jet engine research, 1921. Oh god, look at this. Oh, that's not good. 
See chemical engineering, engineering research theory. Let's have a look. See delay doctrine. This is all land stuff. Elastic defense blitzkrieg. See, that's a hard one to research. Oh, crikey, oh, blimey. Hmm. Okay. So. Let's put that in. That in. That in. That in. Okay. Okay, so naval. We're a little bit behind some of that, but we're not doing too bad. Air. This is. See, look, Kaz. All that kind of stuff. Fighter, small engineer, crop fighter. It's been researched. Ooh. Okay, so need a lot of research. So as you can see, the Franklin D is back in charge again. Let's see. Okay, technology. Theatres, let's see who needs what. No, nothing immediately. Okay. So, unzipause it. Oh, see, that's a little collection. Oh, that's English, that's all right. So, this is Kimmel in the transport fleet now. See, that, basically, my organisation is low. I'm going to have to get them in here. So, let's see how things progress. See, look, it's still not great. I may not be able to get there in, take, in time to take one back. But the trouble is, I don't have any... I don't have any kind of land forces to take that back, so... That's where the problem lies there. What? Ah. Oh. Don't have to run for it. Ah. So that's now there, and okay. Lost one. Damn it. up there now. Okay, so, pausing, because these guys here are my 240 weight. Ah, here we go. So if I get rid of that, that, And then we'll send this transport fleet down to their transport. There we go. And what we'll also do is send these guys here to uh, patrol. Aggressive patrolling. So, transport fleet will leave here come out, transfer guys to Singapore, and then also we'll have my battleship squad. Um, they will make their way out as well. So that should hopefully improve things. I'll still have battleships back there. There's the Asiatic fleet also going to help. What's going on here? The other fleets coming in there, you can see them both there. So they will get there. Let's have a look. We'll arrive 3rd of December. So not long now. They're probably there already. So 
Okay, Australia looks a little, hmm, looks a little kind of skewed, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Probably just the way we're looking at it. Okay, so let's clock that time up a little bit more. See, look, uh -huh. hairy planes. So there's Ramsey in that port. Here come my um, guys here. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, there's the battleship fleet with the transport fleet right behind it. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's exactly what I'm after. So. Might be a little bit of a time constraint today, guys. Um, uh, due to limits of my time tonight. Uh, let's have a look. Let's carry on. So there you go. These guys are now patrolling. Actually, what we'll do is we'll put them down here. And tell them to patrol there. So, at least they're kind of looking around this area. There you go, see? So, what he's going to need to do is essentially drop off all those units and then hopefully push some of those guys back and then obviously we've got the transport guys coming in now all together and then we'll use some of these guys left here so as you can see two armored brigades and two cavalry brigades maybe we can use those as well to push them back so just have to wait and see what happens go should be in there any minute there we go so there we go look at those fellas wonderful wonderful stuff so let's get these guys back to here to rebase we'll keep these guys let's just see yeah so we'll keep these guys patrolling here and what we'll do also is we'll have the battleship fleet here so they'll patrol this area here, and we'll have the battleship fleet patrol that area there. Now that basically means that we're covered for that distance between there and there, because obviously that's going to be a, a problematical location. So, that's the Netherlands. That's in your back, it's quite a similar colour, but anyway. Um, now, what have we got here? See, there we go. There we've got that lot there. Now, they basically been... Uh, be, no, recently attacking. No, that's... Oh, heavens above. Look at all that lot. So, there's another 9,000 and the sightseeing 6th. But I'll keep those where they are for the time being. So, let's check our super fleet. Because... Where's my super fleet? Super fleet? So. Let's have a look. There's the cruiser fleet, cruiser fleet, battleship fleet. So the the USN. So that's United States Navy. Fleet of Flamey Death. There we go. So there we go. The USN fleet of Flamey Death. Now what we will do is we will. <clears throat> Does that create new unit? No, we want to do... Um, no, we don't want to do it that way. I want to make them part of his fleet. I've got to try and remember how to do that. Ugh. See? No, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Okay. So the question is, what we can do is, you know what I might do is put the cruiser fleet under the command of that. Now, no, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Not right. Not right at all. to be able 
able to create as big a fleet as possible. So let's see, let's take those out. Let's see what happens if we just do that. Ah! Fucking bell ends, Chadwick. So. The USS Nimitz, Flamey Death. There we go, United States Navy, Flamey Death. So we've got four more ships than they have. So, we are on our way to the Philippines. Now, there we go. So United States Fleet of Flamey Death are on route. Now, the only drawback is, um, troops-wise, transport fleets there and I've got the cruiser fleet so what I'm going to do is move the cruiser fleet down to Honolulu otherwise they've got no defences at all so we'll do that so here we go second submarine there's the Johnson Island division there's my fleet of flaming death okay nowhere to be seen at the moment oh airborne assault good stuff so there you go, there's the airborne assault stuff. And there we go. The United States Navy Fleet of Flamey Death. Complete with USS Tennessee, the battleship. So there's 19 ships of goodness. Look at that. Destroyers, cruisers, and phone calls ringing. From annoying people who should piss off. So, okay. Let's see, there's all the flamey death. Flamey death, flamey death! So, here you go. In come the troops, and then what we're gonna do is let's see how that's going. Um, oh, yeah, okay, the transport fleet. Are they back yet? Not yet. These guys are doing the patrolly thing. Hmm. And then, we need to scout out the area. Find out where these things are that we're looking for. Because uh, I need to find that big fleet of about 15 or so. Um, and do it as much damage as I can. It's going to be essentially my... Uh, not Wake Island, but Coral Sea type thing. So. Okay. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do? Hmm. Okay, that's odd. What? Aha! See? Good lads, well done, they've sunk stuff. So, now the question is, is the Phil sub arse still running? I wonder if they're dead or alive, let's have a look. There you go, Phil sub arse, unfortunately, supplies are very low for the Phil sub arse. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell them to rebase there. And then we'll send them out to do some investigation, checking around this area and around here as well. So, now we've got these troops there. I don't want to move all of them out until I'm happy that I've got a good collection of troops in this area. So, as you can see, tactical bombers. Let's see. So, those guys can go in. No, they can't. Going there, no. Okay. See, it could be that they're too far. See, that's urban, so we'll leave the tanks there. Now, have they made it back yesterday? Whoa! Pausey, pausey, pause. Boom! Kimmel's back. Get in that ship, boys. And then Kimmel can hot foot it to here. There we go. 
Right, what's this? Oh, baby, can I? I wonder if I can... Okay, so, San Francisco. I'll put them all in San Francisco and then transfer them down here. Okay, so that's good, San Francisco. Good, okay, so... Um, those guys are moving in now. Let's see, where's that? That's Siam. So essentially we want to push them back that way. Okay, so... Let's see. So the transport should be coming out of there soon. Whoa! Send them to intercept. Okay, maybe not. They're already on route. So we might have to consider sending them back there at some point. Now, ooh. Dokey. So, there's the fleet there. They're making their way in. These fine fellas here. Doing this, and let's have a look. Hmm, okay, that's interesting, Mr. Bond. Okay. So let's have a look to see what their infrastructure is like. Building up to level 8, infrastructure, coastal fort, naval base. So the naval base has got good infrastructure. Oh, Bow Hill. Ah! Men attacking! Lovely. I could actually use that as a. Um, here, I wonder if I can actually send them over here. Who are these? Oh. So if we send those guys to move there, and then I can maybe use some of their combat air to attack uh, this particular area here. No, can't do that. So let's move in. Let us move there. I want to intercept everything. What the hell? Why are you going there? I'll probably go back. What? What the hell are you going all the way back there for? Oh, you bloody fools. Move. Thank you. Okay, so... The trouble is, is I wonder if they... Yeah, their, their cav is not that high. Hmm. Okay. Uh, weird. But, we'll see. Okay, so... These guys here... They can't do any kind of... Cav. Can they do that? Okay, their superiority. So I could do that. Oh! Ah! This will be interesting. There we go. Pwned you, bitches. What's this? Thank you, Mexico. What do you mean, out of fear? Shut up. Spanner. So, that's Bowhill there. That is the Pacific Trans... Has he, has he done it? He has to. Look at him. Okay, so... Let's move these fine fellas up. And let's see. So we've got those guys. Let's strategically redeploy those. Strategically redeploy those.
Okay, let's see how that goes. So, first cav. Ground attack. And... Ground attack. Interdiction, so might be a good one. Oh, crikey, what's he? CAG duty. So we'll have him on CAG duty. Oh. Right, okay, so we've lost some people there. So the battleship fleet is still patrolling. Now the question is, where is my mighty fleet? Yes, the fleet of flamey death has arrived. Let's go pick a fight. Intercept. See, I'm guessing that they don't. There we go. So, hmm, okay. Right, so... Hmm. Okay. So hopefully, the fleet of flamey death... Now, here we go. My guys are making their way out now, see, look. So, the question is... Can they do... Oh, see, that's urban, so I might actually be able to get those guys up a little bit. Let's see if we can move those guys up. And move those guys up as well. So, I'll leave a couple of tank brigades down there and bring some more guys up as well. Flanked by these fine fellas now. Okay, so these dudes are ground attack, these are doing rest and return and CAG. So they'll keep oh, my eyes peeled there. Um, let's see. There's the battleship fleet there. And the mighty fleet of flamey death is around here somewhere. So we'll just have to wait and see. So, here we go. Exciting stuff. Do, 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 do. Now, oh, there we go. So there's Horton in a bit of fisticuffs, and you've got these fine fellas. There you go, a bit of cavalry, and some cav fellas there as well. When can they do 85 hours? So 22nd of December. So they're gonna wait. These guys are all moving. Hmm. Now, the question is what's going on in Ingerland? Nothing. Now, nada. Zip. Zilch. Diddly squat. Uh, so, what I need to do is... Is the transport fleet there? Yes, it is. And the ranger task force is there, isn't it? We've up them. They don't want it up them. Yeah, sorry. Now, the question is, can I get a fleet? What's that? Is that France? Cannot enter neutral territory. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get my guys around there. Are they... Nationalist Spain, see? That's all they've got. So I could technically use that as a staging point and then make a push down in towards here and then start helping push the Italians out. That is actually a good idea. So... These fine fellas here are going to get in the boat. And this boat is going to go down to the rock. Time to get your rocks off. Rebase. There we go. So, hopefully they don't run into any problems. That would upset me. Uh, to be honest, they get sunk, so I think it would kind of upset them as well. But I could be wrong, you know. Stranger things have happened. But you guys aren't going to find out until next week. Ha <laughs> ha! So, 
This is the end of Tactics Thursday. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.